Hello and welcome back to my channel. For this card, I am using some Lawn Fawn products and I'm starting out with my large stitched rectangle and my outside in stitched mug. I have my two panels, the exact same size, cut out and I have die cut from one of them, the mug. I'm going to ink this one in salvaged patina distress oxide. You can see I have a little bit of a rip on my paper from where I had tape. This doesn't bother me because I am going to be covering it up. Of course, I'm pretty sure at this stage I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to cover it up. I just knew I was going to have to. Alright, I'm darkening up the bottom with some Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide. I'm going to use my Carved Pumpkin Distress Oxide ink to ink up where the mug would be. I do bring back the front panel to make sure that I'm darkening where I want it to be darkened, and I kind of just wanted it darker around the bottom and the very edges, leaving it lighter in the center. Now that that's complete, I am going to go back in with my front panel, and I'm going to take my black soot distress ink, and I am going to splatter the front. You guys might be getting sick of seeing this, but I've just really been enjoying the splatter lately. Now once this is dry, I am adding some adhesive around the mug on the back of my panel, and I'm going to add an acetate sheet to make a little shaker window. For the center of the handle, I am using a little bit of double-sided adhesive to adhere that to the front. Now I'm moving on. I have the leaves and the little swirly bits, and my peeled paint distress oxide. Shout out to Kate. Thank you. It was the one missing one for my stash, and oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe I went this long without it. <laughs> anyway, the leaves and the little squiggly bits are from the pumpkin die set, and I've just used the peeled paint distress oxide to color those, and now I'm adding more splatter, because why not? You can always skip this bit. I just feel like it gives them a little bit more interest. Now from that same die set, I have the little jack-o'-lantern face, and I'm just taking my black soot distress ink, and I'm just inking up the little pieces. I could have die cut this from black cardstock, but I don't usually have a lot of black cardstock, so ink it was. Now I'm going to glue the face down onto the mug. I really love making decorative mugs, so you guys will see this probably again in the future. Now for the sentiment. I am handwriting the word pumpkin. We've been over this before. I don't love my handwriting. I just figured I needed something to fit the space a little better than what I had. So I opted to write it out. I don't love it, but it's not the worst, I guess. And I'm just darkening up some of the areas. I really probably should take some kind of class on hand lettering. And now I'm gluing my little leaves and my little squiggly bits in place. And as you can see, this covered up the rip in my paper. And now for the rest of my sentiment, I have this little hello die cut piece. I think this is from Trinity Stamps. And I have colored it black with the same marker I used to do my lettering. And I have glued that in place. Now I will flip my panel over and I am adding a couple layers of foam tape along the back panel, all around it, just making sure to close in any of the gaps. Now that that's done, I am going to take my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to run it around the edges just to make sure that my sequins don't stick too bad to the tape. And now I already have my sequin mix. I did decide to add some little micro beads to the center. Uh, I keep seeing one of my crafty friends do this all the time and I decided I would give it a try. It does make a nice noise when it shakes. And now after I remove all of the adhesive, I am carefully lining this up. This worked way better than I was expecting. I usually mess that up, but I did all right this time. And then my shaker is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.